Hey guys, it's Brandon here from Theme Park Predictions and more and welcome to my new studio. I just moved into our new house and I'm very excited to get back to making content. And this video is going to be very interesting because apparently SeaWorld Orlando is actually in planning stages of building a new roller coaster. Yes, a new coaster even though they're new for 2023 pipeline the surf coaster is not even open yet. So, crazy news out of SeaWorld, I'm all for it. I'm going to give you guys my rundown of all my thoughts about this project. Plus, could SeaWorld Orlando actually build a new coaster in 2025 as well? Because after all, this new family coaster would be the third coaster the park opened in three years. Because 2022 was Icebreaker, which was delayed. Then 2023, the Pipeline Surf Coaster. Then 2024, if it does open then, the Antarctica Replacement Family Coaster. So I have a lot to dig into here. But first, a huge shout out goes to Midway Mayhem and Screamscape for first reporting the news of a new roller coaster coming to SeaWorld Orlando, possibly 2024, maybe 2025. So why does this move make perfect sense for SeaWorld? Well, it's obvious the park desperately lacks a good family coaster. And I really think the intention for Icebreaker at first was going to be that family coaster and fill that void. But obviously, Icebreaker is really good and it's very intense. And the park even had to increase the height requirement from 48 to, I believe, 52 inches just due to how fast the ride goes and how intense it actually is. So by SeaWorld Orlando actually adding a new family coaster, which would hopefully offer a height requirement around 42 to 48 inches, is the best thing SeaWorld Orlando can do. Because after all, SeaWorld Orlando desperately lacks a good family coaster. And if they would build one in this location of the park, it's going to do great things for the park, especially at the front gate. But realistically, looking at the aerial views of this area of the park and reports from Screamscape of this roller coaster using a very small indoor portion and then the rest of the roller coaster be located behind the Antarctica building. But as you can see, there really isn't a lot of room here for an extended roller coaster layout. But use your imagination a little bit. What if... SeaWorld Orlando would actually make this roller coaster travel underneath Kraken and have the track extend onto the detention pond behind the ride, basically filling the gap between Mako and Kraken. Basically picture a ride like SeaWorld San Antonio's Jet Rescue Coaster, but instead of basically the entire layout over the water, only about half of the layout would actually be on top of water. So are we looking at an intimate straddle coaster? Because after all, that is the exact type of coaster that SeaWorld San Antonio opened when they opened Jet Rescue. And then, Busch Gardens Williamsburg in 2023, as we know, is opening Dark Coaster, a new intimate straddle coaster. And SeaWorld San Diego is also opening one this year. So if you follow the trends, and I really do feel like Busch Gardens Tampa could be getting one as well, I definitely could see something like this fit really well at SeaWorld Orlando and offer that straddle style seating position. But what if it's not Intamin? What if it's Vacoma? I mean, after all, Big Bear Mountain looks phenomenal. And not saying this ride's going to be as large as Dollywood's new for 2023 family coaster, but... That coaster offers three launches and just under 4,000 feet of track. So just imagine a ride like that being located in this area of the park and interacting with Kraken and the water behind Kraken. That's a very intriguing project and I'm all for it. But according to Screamscape, there's another coaster designer out there that's at play and apparently has been seen at the park looking over this project. And that would be Mock Rides. And we know SeaWorld has a great relationship with them because for one, SeaWorld San Diego's Manta, which I believe opened in 2012 or 13, is a great low-to-the-ground family multi-launch coaster, which perfectly fits the description of this project. And by the way, if you like the shirt I'm wearing, check out themeparkmerch.com. I design all my own merch and it's Premium quality, really comfortable, so definitely check it out. This is one of my best sellers, my airtime tee. But back to SeaWorld real fast. 
I'm very excited about this project because whether it's Intamin, Mock Rides, or Vacoma, SeaWorld's actually going to be building a roller coaster, it appears, in an area of the park that I would have never have guessed them being able to fit a coaster in. So that just means, like, for future coasters, you're looking at other areas that could still potentially be home to a new roller coaster and not be taken up by this project. So kudos to SeaWorld Orlando on that. Now, if only the park could do something with the Wild Arctic building next. But let's be honest here. Antarctica, the dark ride, really was never good. And SeaWorld Orlando really hyped it up to be something like Universal Caliber and definitely was not. So I'm very glad that the ride is never coming back. And instead, we might be having a brand new roller coaster being take place here. But will SeaWorld Orlando continue this momentum of adding a new roller coaster the year after this one opens? So let's say again, this new family rumored coaster opens in 2024. Could SeaWorld Orlando actually build another roller coaster in 2025? I mean, that's pretty much the unthinkable. However, the trend that SeaWorld's on with all their parks and Busch Gardens parks, it wouldn't surprise me, but I really feel like the park will take a year off in 2025, at least from the roller coaster department, and really focus on adding a few new thrill rides to the park or family rides, something really beefing up the ride offerings, just because you saw the company do that to SeaWorld San Antonio over the last few years, and the park has done great with that. Park guests love those rides and they're always busy. And it really does make sense because SeaWorld Orlando desperately lacks flat rides. All they really have is coasters. So I would love to see the park add two to three major family slash throw rides. I really feel as if that would do really well for the park and be at the best interest for park visitors as well as long-term growth for the park. But enough about me, what do you guys think of this? Do you think SeaWorld Orlando is actually going to be building a new roller coaster in 2025? If so, how large will it be? What manufacturer? Exciting times at SeaWorld Orlando because this year they're opening up the brand new B&M Surf Coaster. Then next year, they might be opening up a brand new coaster as well. So if you have not been out to SeaWorld Orlando recently, you got to check out the park this year or next. It's one of the best parks you'll ever visit. And on that note... Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters.